Yo, this is my first time doing something like this, so it's not gonna be good at all. <laughs> Today we're talking about album. Uh, what I deem uh, the album of the summer, and the title of it is Flower Boy. To me, Scumfuck Flower Boy by Tyler Creator is one of the most creative and most beautiful albums just ever made. Uh, I never listen to something that just encapsulates summer, just the theme of summer so perfectly well. The fact that it released at the start of the summer of 2017 kind of shows that he planned to release it and ha and had the idea of this album for a while. I'm not gonna write a full-blown like analysis, not outside anyway, but uh, I'm just gonna talk about I like the album so much. First is um, for the presentation. I think an album cover is very important and the album cover for this album, obviously this is the alternative version that's like n on nowhere except for like the disc in the UK. I just love the simplicity of it where it's just blue square B. <laughs> and I think the main cover for the album is fucking beautiful. It, it's just the, the sunset, Tyler looking back this way with his arms crossed, the cars in the background driving, just everything is just beautiful. The first song I listened to was um, See You Again and I forgot where I found it from. But even before that, I, I kind of knew Tyler Creator. I remember like when I was like 11 years old, I saw um, the cover for Who That Boy and I was like, that's the scariest shit ever. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is that? But when I first listened to See You Again, I'm pretty sure Flower Boy just turned like six years old. And uh, around that time, it was near the end of high school or secondary school as the Brits call it. And I knew that after high school ended, I probably would have seen a lot of those people who I talked to ever again, uh, for better or for worse. And thinking of this one person, and then just Kelly Uchi's soft, beautiful voice saying, can we get a kiss? Can it last forever? Will I ever see you again? That just meant a lot to me. I know when I first heard that, I was in the car at the back, just looking at the view and it, it meant a lot to me. It, it was a very beautiful moment. And to this day, when I play that song, I just think about that person. Flower Boy is an album about a lot of Tyler's issues, just like covered in in, this, like, in these beautiful Disney instrumentals, basically. That's even how he describes it. A lot of this album is him talking about how lonely he feels, about all the materialism, yeah, all that material he owns. It, overall, it doesn't really amount to anything at the end of the day. And although I don't relate with the first part, um, I do relate with the second, where I do keep buying things. Um, infinitely basically <laughs> and songs like forward um really get to me where it's like how many cars can i how many cars can i drive until what how many cars can i buy until when i drive how much drive can i handle when i road how much look at how much i can't rap i can't i can't sing either but you get the point but this flower blooms it's just a beautiful track as well sometimes uh <laughs> the track sometimes even though it's like 37 seconds i used to play that shit on loop like all the fucking time and a lot of this album just sounds so beautiful to listen to and i know there's um definitely way better words i can use that i'll probably put on screen but it just does that shit is funny uh, pothole is my favorite instrumental probably on the album D wait did i not say five minutes ago i'm not gonna talk about every song on the album Anyway, Garden Shed. Garnet from Steam Universe is great on here. Um, honestly, I don't really play this one often, if at all. But to, to, keep, to set the record straight, but when I play this album, I'm not skipping any songs. So nonetheless, it's still a beautiful track. Boredom, another great track. Uh, I think it was an iconic song on this whole album. And then See You Again, 911, Mr. Lonely. Um, that is just like, 911 is like one of the best melodies of this all time. I'm not, I'm not going to sing it for, for your own sake. <laughs> oh, I forgot about I Ain't Got, I ain't got Time. Uh, I, ain't, I ain't got time to talk about that song. Dropping Seeds with Lil Wayne is sick. Just a little interlude that just, you know, just brings the album together. November is a immaculate track. If you saw my videos in 2022, a lot of it was about things from my childhood from the past, because at the time I really missed the past. And the story of the song uh, means a lot to me because sometimes it, it made me, I know when I first heard it, it made me question, what is my November? And I think um, I, don't ha I don't have one. I definitely don't have one November. I have multiple, but, um, to, to set a list like the summer 2013, February 2014, summer 2016, fall 2017. I have, I have a lot. My most recent November is probably spring 2021. But when I think of November, although it could be a person, I'd rather just think of it as like a time period. I feel like the time period showcases who I was with at that time anyway. Question When you when you guys listen to Glitter, do you not think it sounds like that SpongeBob song? Like, wait, play, play, play the song. It's all about you, girl, on your 16th birthday. And the final track which i think is uh, one of the best enjoy right now today it's so simple it's so simple it's just an instrumental there's nothing on it with like that one sample i don't know the name i don't know where it's from but i know it it's a really good uh, morning song if you want to just like i feel like you should start your day with that song if anything 
And I remember um, a lot of times in college, when, I, when it was like 9 a.m., I was bored out of my mind doing like nothing. Because in college, I'd always finish my work early. Um, I would just play this song and just chill out to it. I'm definitely going to do a way more like fleshed out with you of Flower Boy. Um, this is just like a test video, if anything. I don't know if this, if this will make the main channel. But yeah, I just want to get my quick thoughts on this album because I thought, un unironically, 2024 has been like my favorite year in a very long time. I, as my, For my last year as a teenager, I wanted to make the most of it. And I feel like productivity and social wise, I did. And I'm so happy for that. This, this year, this year is gonna be my November in like 10 years, I, I promise you, it will. With that being said, Flower Boy, um, I, I don't know why, every Tyler Korea album is not a 10 to me, even my favorite, Come If You Get Lost. This is like a 9.98. <laughs> it, it doesn't feel like a 10, I don't know, I don't know why, but it, it basically is. But for now, as it's the end of summer, basically, um, I thought I should end off with this and, um, don't don't say oh you oh wow you face revealed uh no i i face revealed actually actually 10 10 whole years ago today i made my first video with my bitch ass face in it and guess what it's terrible so it's a little homage to that as well i guess yeah uh thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed and um and uh i will probably do this again but don't 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 expect me to do this like often at all fuck that shit but yeah that's it bye